Pondstorm is an active cyber espionage actor group that has been very aggressive and ambitious in recent years. The actor group has clear objectives in mind, namely stealing sensitive information from defense industry, armed forces, embassies, journalists and political parties. Average citizens might think they are not affected by a threat actor like Pondstorm. This might have been true in the past, but this has changed since 2015 already. We will explain this in this short video. Pondstorm is becoming increasingly relevant, particularly because it is doing more than just espionage activities alone. In 2016, the group attempted to influence public opinion, to influence elections and sought contact with mainstream media with some success. Now, the impact of these malicious activities can be felt by various industries and enterprises operating throughout the world. Even average citizens of different countries might be affected as Pondstorm tries to influence people's opinions about domestic and international affairs. The attacks of Pondstorm may even serve as an example for other actors who could copy tactics and repurpose them to fit their own objectives. Many events like their involvement in the Democratic National Convention hack, have been covered extensively in the media. The DNC compromise was not an isolated incident though. Since at least 2015, Pondstorm has attacked a whole series of political organizations. In 2015, it became known that the Bundestag, the German parliament, had been compromised by Pondstorm for many months. Early 2016, Pondstorm targeted the Turkish parliament and the Turkish government. In March and April 2016, Pondstorm launched aggressive credential phishing attacks against corporate and private email addresses of the DNC. In April and May 2016, Pondstorm targeted CDU, the political party of Angela Merkel in Germany. In October 2016, the Parliament of Montenegro got targeted, and in 2017, Pondstorm launched credential phishing attacks against German think tanks related to CDU and SPD. Pondstorm also targeted the campaign of French presidential candidate Emmanuel Macron. There have been instances when Pondstorm uses mainstream media to publicize their attacks and influence public opinion. Several media outlets have confirmed that they were offered exclusive access to data stolen by Pondstorm. When the well-known German magazine Der Spiegel reported on doping in early 2017, Der Spiegel wrote they were in contact with the Fancy Bear hackers for months and that in December 2016 they received several sets of data containing PDF and Word documents, in addition to hundreds of internal emails from United States Anti-Doping Agency and the World Anti-Doping Agency. The Fancy Bears hack team is one of the proxies of Pondstorm, whose sole purpose is to leak stolen data at well-timed moments. So Der Spiegel basically took stolen data from Pondstorm, talked to them for months and then published the data. This is a clear example where Pondstorm successfully contacted mainstream media to influence the public opinion about a political topic. We warn media outlets not to accept any data from proxies of Pondstorm or Pondstorm itself. As Pondstorm is well known for the attempts to infect journalists with malware. And since 2016 it has become clear that Pondstorm tries to disrupt and influence mainstream media. Pondstorm often uses seemingly non-advanced techniques like credential phishing to steal data from their targets. As simple as credential phishing might look, Pondstorm's preparation of the attacks, their eye for detail and the quality of social engineering differentiates them from the average threat actor. The targeting is usually very precise and comes from different angles at the same time. When one attack doesn't bring what Pondstorm intended, Pondstorm will just attack again and again and again when needed. Pondstorm also has a private expert kit, malware for various platforms, and has used several zero days in recent years. When we plot the number of live second stage command and control servers that control infected computers of the very high value victims of Pondstorm, the increase of activity of Pondstorm becomes particularly evident. Despite all the research publications, Pondstorm keeps on going, 
often attacking organizations under the nose of intelligence units in various countries. Pawnstore makes good use of web hosting providers in Western countries that offer privacy to their customers. For example, these web hosting providers accept bitcoins as payment. We don't know for sure whether these hosting companies are knowingly providing services to cyber criminals and cyber spies, perhaps at premium rates. However, some of the web hosting companies have had ties with so-called bulletproof hosting providers in the past. Protecting yourself against an attacker like Pawnstorm is a challenge. They have resources that allow them to run lengthy campaigns over years. We have seen how the group's credential phishing tactics work to fool even the most savvy webmail users and how sophisticated their social engineering can be. Pawnstorm has used several zero days in 2015 and 2016. Pawnstorm attacks from many different sites and will dedicate more of their resources when they identify a worthwhile target. Successfully repelling numerous attacks is not a guarantee. Only one has to succeed for the attackers to achieve their goal. There are some things you can do to raise the level of your defenses though. Minimize your attack surface. Systems that do not need to be exposed to the open internet shouldn't be. Require remote workers to use the corporate VPN to access your systems. Minimize the number of domain names you maintain and centralize email servers. Prevent DNS hijacking of your domains. Work with reputable registrars only or those that allow for two-factor authentication of your DNS administrator account. Lock your domain at the registrar to further raise the bar for unauthorized changes to your domains. Enforce two-factor authentication for corporate webmail. Educate employees on securing their private free webmail and social media accounts too. And don't let them use those accounts for work. When your employees travel overseas or attend conferences, let them take a clean loan computer with them. Outsourced services can be compromised too. Use only reputable third-party services. Don't store sensitive information in email boxes without encryption. And don't send sensitive information by email without encryption. Let a reputable company do penetration testing of your network frequently. Include social engineering in these tests. Keep software updated and patched. For more information about Pawnstorm and how to protect yourself from actors like Pawnstorm, visit our website at trendmicro.com and download our paper Two Years of Pawnstorm, examining an increasingly relevant threat.